Hello, ESC bubble. We sing hallelujah, shout it from heaven. They're all we've waited for. It is, of course, Confessions from Denmark, who will be performing yeah. at Dance MGP. Hi, guys. Uh, they'll be performing at Dance MGP uh, on the 5th of March with their song Hallelujah. Um, guys, how have you found this whole process so far? It's been amazing. We've been waiting for so long to just share the news that we're in. That's Gepgepe, we've known since October and it's been super hard to keep it a secret for this long. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you say you've had to keep the secret for a long time. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. been very, very hard. Fantastic. Um, so how long have you guys been together then? Because you, you're, from what I know, you're a relatively new group. Yeah, so we've known each other almost all our lives. To be as an eye, we're siblings, so I'm his older sister and Laura is like our bonus sister that we've known since we were just kids and we've been singing together a lot. Yeah, we've pretty much been singing together since um, I was eight, I think, when I first mm -hmm. met you guys. Our parents did some work together and started a, like a gospel kind of camp in their city. Mm -hmm. And uh, for one week every summer, we would uh, go to Hula, which is where they live, and stay at their house and we would just sing all day. Sing all day and, and we'd go, go to the <laughs> yeah. Go all the way to this gospel camp and come home and then sing karaoke. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I mean, the, uh, it's interesting that you said you went to a gospel camp because it really comes out in the song. Um, yeah. it, was, was that always like, was gospel kind of an inspiration for this song? That... It is uh, kind of like both gospel and pop song like mixed together. And we've all been in gospel choirs since we were just kids as well. To be as an act and my parents have gospel choirs and also Laura's parents. So that's why it's uh, yeah, it's something that stands are very near our heart. Right? Yeah, because it's what we grew up with, singing gospel and being in these choirs and, you know, having this community of people around you who sing together. It's, it's a wonderful feeling and it's what we've always done. So I think it's very, yeah. it's very personal to us. Yeah, and it's, it's something we want to share with the world as well because yeah. we love it so much and it just gives up a great energy, which we mm -hmm. want to share with everyone at home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Has Dance MGP been sort of a long-term project? Has this been a dream for a long time? I would say for me, when I was a kid, I wanted to get into the kid version, like uh, Banner MGP. Oh, really? Both yeah. songs every year, doing my very best to get in there. Unfortunately, <laughs> didn't work out. But so now it's amazing that I'm here and able to be in that school. That's yeah. definitely something that I wanted to do since like this. <laughs> that's, that's it. I mean, I mean, that is. Have you had a chance to listen to the other songs for Dance Game Gipier this year? And like, who are your favorites? Well, I think we like a lot of them because there's a lot of like different songs this year, which is really great. They're really mm -hmm. exciting like, the area of music which is coming out and being, getting to be in the performance. And I think a lot of them are really great. But it's hard to, you know, pick favorites because we've met everybody and they're all so nice. And yeah. They're just, it's, it's only like, it's. It's very different when you get to meet the people behind, you know, you put a face to it and get to mm -hmm. talk to them. They're all great people. We did, we actually met them the day before we heard all the songs, so we didn't really know what they had, like, had for songs. So we just got to meet them as like people, people normal people, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really yeah. nice, yeah. Yeah. Uh, was really nice. Pizza together <laughs> yeah. and drinks, and that was really chill and yeah. it was nice yeah. too see who are these people we're gonna share this experience with before we're standing in the middle of it on the fifth <laughs> before it really ramps up yeah in our sort of preamble you did tease that you have been working on like staging and outfits and stuff for for the show um without giving too much away uh, what can we expect from confessions at dance game gp well we're trying to give everyone like a great experience in trying to you know put this gospel vibe not necessarily like uh, the message of the gospel genre but just the vibe of feeling like everyone is welcome and being one big like uh, one big party that's yeah. what we want to get out there right yeah we want to have a party on the stage and hopefully everyone will want to join that and have a really good time yeah and yeah. sing along at home yeah dance yeah. a little yeah. bit on the couches come yeah. on yeah. Like we did when we were children. Yeah. yeah. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Dance MGP, as far as I know, is one of the few national. I don't know if they do it every year, but one of the f sort of only national finals that has a live orchestra. So how how has that been? Like sort of performing with a pit band. How has that sort of like what's that experience been like? Like we went in to practice with them. We've done it one time so far, and 
it was just overwhelming. They're so great, and mm -hmm. it just brings brings the song to another level, even with the live performance that we're going to do. Is it, yeah. is it, it's, like, it's, it's like a full orchestra, isn't it? It's like everything. Yeah. So. Like yeah. trumpets, violin, like the whole band. So <laughs> it was just an amazing experience to get yeah. to play with or sing with these amazing musicians. So yeah. we're so excited. It yeah. feels like, like a really elevated thing of the song, especially yeah. because this whole come together and it's really, you know, it really gets uh, reinforced with the mm -hmm. with the band yeah. playing. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. I mean, I mean, I'm just fascinated by Dance Game Gip here because, you know, I, I always like a national final with a live orchestra. I know once you get to Eurovision, that's not going to be the same, but I do I do think that it gives Dance Game Gip here that kind of like edge, I think, on particularly on a lot of the other um, Scandinavian national finals as well. What, what are your plans after Europe? Uh, or, or getting ahead of myself there, but uh, after Dance Game Gip, I, I mean, <laughs> it, it, it could happen. It's it's a possibility. Um, but like, what are your plans for the future? What are your plans like? Wh where does Confessions go from here? Well, we definitely want to keep being a group. It's not. We just we didn't just uh, become a group for this. We definitely want to keep making music and putting out songs and getting this kind of gospel pop mixture out there and introducing more people to what gospel can do. So. Yeah. so we have some songs up our sleeves that we're mm. going to hopefully be getting out there mm. soon yeah. after. Are they, are they more along this sort of gospel pop vibe that we hear in Hallelujah as well? I think it's actually a good mixture. Yeah. Of the lot. So we're hoping that Lovely. people will stay tuned and follow us on our little adventure. We're really excited. I know, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, you're you're gonna get so many fans like just through this process. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the, <laughs> be 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 ready for the uh, for, to spread the love. Is all I'll say. Um, now talking about Eurovision, um, are you guys sort of Euro fans? Are you sort of avid? Do you follow it every year? Or do you have any particular sort of Eurovision memories that stick out? Me definitely. When uh, the year after Denmark won, and we had Eurovision here in Denmark. I was actually watching the show in the well, live. Yeah, that, that was a that was a fantastic year. That was one of the years that really got me into Eurovision actually. Yeah. It really cool. Like yeah. see it live and that big show. Yeah, I remember just sitting there thinking, oh my god, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Huge production, like seeing what's like put up in the scene and stuff and everything. I have a very <laughs> I, it might be kind of a weird memory. I have my mom used to uh, sometimes sing backup for singers in mm -hmm. uh, like Melody of the or Eurovision. Yeah. And, stuff. and I remember one time I think it was Romania or something, uh, and they were they had this 360 degrees <gasps> piano. Yeah, pa Paula <laughs> selling an <it> egg. <off>, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of the times that definitely was like. I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That that could be the caption for this for this interview when it goes out in the article. I wanted to play <laughs> Ovi's piano because our fans have loved that. <laughs> I mean, I'm a huge Eurovision fan, but I still haven't been out in person. I'm going out this year, and I have really high hopes. So uh, yeah, um, and maybe I'll see you guys there. <laughs> Who knows? Um, <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. You've been absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, if you're if you're watching this and you haven't heard their song, then why not go and listen to their song? Go and listen to all of the songs at this year's Dance Game PP. It is a, as ever, a wonderful selection of songs, and according to these guys, a lovely selection of people as well. So, uh, and if you want to watch the show, it's on the fifth of March uh, on DR. Uh, I certainly will, and uh, I hope for all the best for you guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, and uh, best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you.